With the adoption of the Community Preservation Act in November of 2012, the city of Somerville joins now the other 177 communities in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts that have a steady funding source dedicated to preserving and improving their character and quality of life. The CPA is a Massachusetts state law that enables adopting communities to create a dedicated fund for preserving open space, historic resources, expanding community housing, and outdoor recreation opportunities. Some of the voters passed the act by 76%, the second highest passage rate in CPA history. This achievement made it possible for Somerville to have additional resources to make Somerville an even more exceptional place to live, work, play, and raise a family. CPA funding comes from three sources. Somerville residents through a 1.5% surcharge on local property taxes, optional additional funding from the city of Somerville, and a state match on local revenue. The Community Preservation Committee, the CPC, oversees the implementation of the CPA in Somerville. The committee is responsible for establishing priorities for how CPA funding should be spent, and based on those priorities, making recommendations to the City Council on projects to receive funds. Since the first Community Preservation Act funding ran in 2015, more than $26 million have been awarded to the 79 affordable housing, historic preservation, open space and recreation land projects across all seven of some of those awards. Of the 79 projects being implemented, 61% are community-led and 10% are joint projects between a community organization and the city of Somerville. These projects are just a snapshot of how your investment is benefiting our community, and there are many other projects in the works across the city. The CPA is making a real difference in increasing available affordable housing, improving local historic treasures, and bettering places for adults and children to collaboratively play and study. The Community Preservation Act continues to deliver real results for our community. CPA funds have supported the creation of 90 new affordable housing units, including the conversion of the historic Mystic Waterworks pumping station to 25 units of affordable housing for senior citizens, individuals with disabilities, and formerly homeless households, as well as the historic preservation of its windows. They used it as a maintenance shop, you know, for many, many years, and then it went vacant for a lot of years. And it was sitting here, it was overgrown trees around and everything. Our director, John Acaluso, saw it, there was an opportunity. He saw a goal in that well, we already have a campus up here, and it's taken over here, 96 elderly units up there. So we thought maybe we could add this to our portfolio. So we, we worked with um, NWRA and the city, and we were able to. As such, the windows, which were really iconic to this building, had to be replicated to a point where it would be easier for us to install new windows, but also that they would be accommodating to the uh, weatherization and the heat loss and the cooling and all that. And that's where you guys come in and give us the money to fund these windows. All these windows, because we got, got a grant from you guys. Very much appreciate In entrusting the award of CPA community housing funds to the good judgment of the trust, the CPC prioritizes programs that provide for affordability and perpetuity as required by the Community Preservation Act. A permanent deed restriction on these units guarantees that they remain affordable into perpetuity, thereby ensuring that the city's affordable housing stock will remain robust over time. In addition to funding new housing units, CPA funds also go to programs that help with the issue of homelessness by providing housing units and other support for individuals that face this problem. The CPA prioritizes projects and programs to support the citizens that fall into those difficult situations. The Somerville Community Corporation has a goal of acquiring 100 new units of permanently affordable housing. So far, they have reached over 90 new permanent units and are still continuing to work towards their goal of 100 homes. The Mystic Waterworks have added 25 units, and along with the Waterworks, the newest housing building on 163 Glen Street has added seven to nine additional ones as well. Located in East Somerville, 163 Glen Street is the newest apartment building in the area set to open in late 2020, early 2021, after it was noted as an adaptive reuse of a historic structure in its official plans. The building now contains two additional floors, as well as an accessible parking space. To honor the Legion post that once stood in its place, a monument will be placed on site as well. So this is 163 Glen Street. 
It's a affordable home ownership project. There are, I think, three market rate units in the building, but the rest are affordable. And um, basically that means that they will be, that the market rate units are gonna sell for something like six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars $800,000, but the affordable units are about gonna be like between a third and half of that price. We're basically using subsidy um, you know, money from this, the Community Preservation Act and other sources, other local sources to allow for um, reduced prices for the actual condominiums that are built here, but still be able to pay for all of the construction that you can see around me to make this a really amazing place to live. Um, and so then in the future, you know, the first people who will buy this property um, will pay that kind of reduced affordable rate for the home. And then when they go to sell in the future and they want to sell their unit, the kind of restrictions on this property that are as a result of the Community Preservation Act funding mean that they will sell at an affordable price in the future to another household that needs affordable housing. We had no place to go after we got out of the hospital we there a year. They got us a place to stay. I mean, I mean they were unbelievable. They just took care of us overall. I mean, tried, tried, and tried to get a place. We couldn't afford a place. I couldn't work because I had to take care of her 24 7. And it was just, it was just, it was just crazy. And then, so we ended up getting married in the hospital. And then I brought her home. And we were together 26 years. And when I brought her home two weeks later, she passed away. But I mean, she's in a better place now. She's not in pain or anything. But, and then I thought I was going to be on the street. I, I didn't think I was going to have any place to go. And they took care of me. And I mean, it's not with the corporation. With the help of CPA funding, the city is able to provide Somerville residents with affordable housing for themselves and their families. The Somerville Hispanic Association for Community Development, located in the historic Grace Baptist Church and the Mission Church, will be able to make needed repairs to the leaking slate roofs that will protect these historic buildings for generations to come with the help of CPA funds. The church as of late has been a haven for families across the city and even neighboring ones as well providing food and other resources during the COVID pandemic. And we are trying to build a soup kitchen. We was in the process to get a grant, like a 40,000 match grant for Great Boston Food Bank, because we want to have a, a, a state-of-the-art kitchen to serve the community. And we throw food for all summer pantry has been for the last 10 years. We start with five families every month. Before the pandemic, we used to serve 500 families. Después del, a mediados de marzo, nosotros empezamos a alimentar más de 350 familias cada semana por la pandemia. Y eso hemos estado haciendo en los últimos meses. Estamos orgullosos de que podamos ayudar a nuestra comunidad de Somos Bien. Lo apoyamos cada día, tenemos más de 10 años sirviendo. Empezamos con pocas familias, ahora tenemos casi 500 familias semanales que podemos llegar a PCP. Another place that CPA funding has gone to is the Elizabeth Peabody House. When Elizabeth Peabody had passed away, her friends, colleagues, and teachers, she both mentored and inspired, established a settlement house that would serve as an oasis of sorts in an underprivileged area, with children being its main focus. From 1896 to 1958, the settlement house benefited the community greatly. In the late 1950s, when city planners began planning for a new Boston, which called for the uprooting of citizens, many families chose to resettle in the nearby Somerville, less than three miles away. Following the lead of those it served, the Elizabeth Peabody House also moved to Somerville to continue its work of supporting families in the community, early childhood education, youth development and enrichment, and family services to help the community reach their full potential. Over the years, the house has served numerous groups of people from several different ethnic and national backgrounds. They continue to work with the same amount of passion over a hundred years later.
The CPA has funded three projects for us. First, in 2018, funding a complete roof replacement, which helped us repair water damage and maintain our historic building. In 2019, following the roof replacement, we commissioned a building assessment plan through CPA funding that helped us determine next steps for our building, as well as what the general needs and strengths and weaknesses of the facility and the structure are. Since commissioning that plan, we've actually already completed um, the first three highest priority projects that the plan outlined. We now also through CPA funding from the last cycle have installed an addressable fire alarm system so that our facility can be as safe as possible for the students and teachers and volunteers who come to our building every day. We have been serving Somerville for over 60 years, serving low income populations, immigrant populations, serving homeless populations. We have an emergency food pantry, we provide childcare, we provide education, and we want our building to be as safe as possible for all of those populations. Our funding that has come from the CPA has helped us maintain our building in order to continue doing that work. We have made major repairs to our facility, like with the roof replacement, and with the building assessment, we were able to determine our priorities for future projects, and this is incredibly important. We know that in Winter Hill, we are a landmark, we are, are a historic building. We wanna make sure that we maintain that integrity as we continue our work in this modern world. The West Branch Library is another location in where CPA funds were used in. Built in 1909, the library is listed on the National Register of Historic Places Andrew Carnegie himself provided funds for the library to be built over a hundred years ago. CPA funds are being used to restore the interior and exterior of this historic Carnegie Library and improve its accessibility by adding a new elevator. The building will include more restrooms and a brand new children's room designed to allow children to run around and enjoy the space safely, creating an engaging and welcoming environment to all. So this is where a lot of our CPA funding has been spent, actually on this road. It doesn't look like much right now, but it is. this is a really big section of the project. So we carved out a section, you can see the, where the brick is, that's where the old original building ended. We carved out a section and installed this elevator that goes top all the way down. And because of the, the age of this building, the electrical, the plumbing, the structural had to be upgraded, all of it, to, to install this. Okay. Even if we didn't do this project, we installed an elevator, and we had to install a new electrical system to support this. So this is one of the main things that we got for the CPA funding to today's codes, to like I like said, it triggered, it triggers other things for the project. This is one of the things that got triggered in the CPA funding this project immensely. Without this funding, we, I don't think we could have made it. The Somerville Central Library is home to a 1939 wooden bass relief. The CPA's funds will directly help dent rebuilding, reduction of edge splintering, surface cleaning, touch up dents and scratches, and pre and post treatment condition documentation. The stabilization of Prospect Hill Tower was the first completed CPA project. The rehabilitation work makes it possible for people to climb the tower for the first time in years. The renovation and preservation of the historic landmark where George Washington first raised the Grand Union flag marks the first project to be completed under the Community Preservation Act. Residents are now able to take a docent land tour, climb the tower, and enjoy the panoramic views on select dates. Located next to Market Basket in Union Square, the Milk Rose Cemetery was established in 1804, and it is thought to contain the oldest Civil War soldiers monument in the United States. With the help of CPA funds, the cemetery was able to open up and improve cemetery landscaping and furniture, provide universal access within and into the burial ground, stabilize, clean, and treat the Civil War monument, rehabilitate eight tomb facades, and also reset and conserve all deteriorated grave markers. The CPA is supporting the Somerville Museum as well to make improvements to its building to better preserve its precious historical artifacts and pieces of art, and to also build an elevator so the museum will be accessible to all in the community. CPA funds were used to rehabilitate and restore existing recreational lands according to need. The CPC prioritizes the rehabilitation of existing fields, parks, and playgrounds that are in the worst conditions. 
CPA funds in the past have supported the improvement of Hoyt Sullivan Park, Prospect Hill Park, the Community Growing Center, School Garden Classrooms, the Community Path Repaving, South Street Farm, and the Winter Hill Community Innovation School. The Somerville Community Center has been a landmark for locals for generations. Just recently, the community center has been undergoing renovations. There were actually three layers of CPA project. The first part was design, and the growing center being the growing center, we've always had a hands-on experiential learning. So part of the design and planning was, hmm, we need new repainting beds walls because the ones we had were, but they were literally falling apart and didn't seem very sustainable. And we had um, sort of proposals that were shared with the city, like this is the, this is the type of thing we want to build and this is why. CPA funds will be used to ensure that ADA accessibility needs are met, rebuild pathways, replace aged infrastructure, increase storage to support programming, and to update the plantings in the garden. Located near the old but infamous Somerville Powder House that was used as a windmill in the early 1700s, as well as a gunpowder magazine during the Revolutionary War, the Powder House School Park is a project set out, as mentioned on the school's website, to highlight the community's goals, diversity, and vibrancy, and reimagines the shell of the historic structure to include commercial, residential, and green open spaces that are meant to be cohesive, unifying, and active. The CPA's funds are going towards the project as a whole, especially the park section, where it is going to contain smart planting and gardening methods to increase local biodiversity and a stormwater catchment system to perform passive irrigation throughout the park. At our building uh, in the background here, known as Kala, formerly the Powder House Community School, as a former public school, this whole project was a public-private partnership between the city of Somerville and Marka, and that project entailed us reimagining and redesigning this former school into a residential, a mixed-use residential and commercial building of 48 units of housing and another about 23,000 square feet of commercial space, and then turning what was once just a surface parking lot into about a 30,000 square foot public park for the city of Somerville's benefit. We've been able, during this project, to use CPA funds of $122,000 to contribute towards the cost of building this park for the city and its residents. Like with most public parks or playgrounds today in Somerville, the original site often belonged to public buildings such as schools. The Morris Kelly Pollination Garden contains a wide variety of plants on display. We had this, this strip of land that was kind of neglected and, and forgotten about, and um, my partner in the project, uh, Tori Antonino, basically approached the city to, to ask if if there was a way to that, that the community could do more with the space. And they directed her to the CPA, and next thing you know, we had their support. They had us come up with a plan and a design and a rough budget, and then it was reviewed by the CPA board and approved. And next thing you know, we, we were ordering plants and organizing a, a volunteer effort to, to get it all planted. Because of the residents' dedication to preserving the unique history and quirky character of their city, the Community Preservation Act has allowed the city to make progress in each of three areas of affordable housing, historic resources, and open space slash recreational land. While the completed projects and progress of the CPA is evidence of the great strides the city is making in preserving the integrity of its neighborhoods, there is still work to do, and the city wants to hear your voice every step of the way. From the beginning, residents have had a huge role in the undertakings of the Community Preservation Act, and there are still plenty of ways to be involved through the Community Preservation Committee. No idea is a bad idea, and the city is excited to see what creative ways you have to use this money. I would like to take a second to mention the Mayor's Program, which has made this video possible. The Mayor's Program overall is an extremely beneficial program for high school students seeking work experience. Those who apply and get accepted into the program are then placed into an organization within the city of Somerville to participate in. This program has allowed participants to become more aware of their neighborhood, learning about the different places and organizations in Somerville that they may have not known existed prior to the Mayor's Program. 
High schoolers taking part in this program have been given the opportunity to meet the different faces in Somerville that run the city, and that also help make a change and improve the quality of life in their community. Being a part of this program, I've realized how many people in the city are doing their part in helping preserve the life and protect the city. Like I've visited so many different local areas here, more than I've ever in my lifetime living here in Somerville, so it's really been a life-changing experience for me. Well, I've never really heard of the CBA much, uh, less know about their contributions to the city and the community, but after learning about it while in the program, it's amazing to see how much funding they have contributed to so many projects across the city, especially funding with open spaces and recreational um, places as well. Um, I feel like more now than ever, um, there have been places for younger people, especially the youth, like to hang out in. Yeah, I feel like now there's a lot more places to hang around and then go to ever, and we have the CPA to think for because of that. The CPA is a great funding program and it's a great way to express your ideas and to help the community and help others in different ways. As this program wraps up, the high schoolers will have leave being aware about the various projects taking place all throughout Somerville, as well as useful communication, working, and time management skills that they will apply into their future careers. Personally, for me and my colleagues, Thank you to the CPA, the CPC, the mayor, and our amazing boss, Judith Tumuzini. This money is here and exists because of your commitment to your community. You're the ones that have funded all of these amazing projects and have impacted so many lives. Thank you for choosing to give back through the Community Preservation Act. These funds offer an invaluable source to maintain the history and character of our community neighbors and make them healthier and greener, all while making them more affordable. Thank you for choosing to invest locally and put your money where you live.